There are three main reasons I switched from Maya to Blender uh, as a 3D modeler. So I've actually spent more time modeling in Maya than I have in Blender. And these are pretty stupid, but here they are. Reason number one, you can not select a vertex and do this. That fillet or that bevel cannot be done in Maya as far as I know. Maybe I've been stupid this entire time and I never figured it out, but I doubt it. <laughs> uh, you can most definitely chant for a vertex. But doing that, that little bevel or fillet, that is unheard of. It goes against the laws of nature if you're using Maya for some reason. Now that's reason number one. Number two also has to do with the bevel tool, which is powerful as it is. It had a, a lot of cool features that I don't think Blender had for a while, but one of its disadvantages was that immediately after beveling, you would lose your selection. So that means if I wanted to extrude that face loop after the fact, I would have to reselect it. And doing this one time doesn't seem like a big deal, but beveling is a pretty common tool and you use it a lot. Imagine having to reselect things every single time you bevel. And uh, that was just too frustrating because looking at Vitaly Bulgarov's technique, one, one of the things he would do a lot is recycle his selections. And that's something I can do in Blender so I can bevel. I can then extrude what's uh, selected, and I can just bevel that again. I can grow my selection, and I can just keep going. But that's not something I could easily do in Maya. The third reason was lack of updates. For about two years, I think, uh, Autodesk Maya received no updates whatsoever, and people on the forums were speculating. But there was one guy I think got it right. He's like, nah, they're just waiting for some version of Python. Of course, none of us paid attention to that guy, but I think that ended up being the case. Anyhow, when the, the next version of Maya was eventually released, it was just way too underwhelming uh, to the point that I started looking at what Blender had to offer, which wasn't much, because <laughs> even though Maya uh, doesn't have a lot of modeling tools, a few tools it does have work pretty well for the most part. But uh, eventually, uh, Blender was doing the 2.8 transition or remake, whatever you want to call it, and that caught my eye and I started trying it more and more and eventually I had learned enough about it to just uh, do the full switch. Technically, I actually switched from Maya to Moto first because I've heard how awesome it was and it truly was. Maybe we should make a video about that. I don't think I would recommend switching to Moto nowadays, but back then, oh, it was amazing. The only reason I didn't uh, stick with Moto was because I realized I could not afford it. <laughs> But in an alternate reality, I'd be using that. I had all, a whole bunch of uh, scripts set up and uh, custom UI and hotkeys and everything. I was ready, I just couldn't afford it. So I went back to Maya because they had a student version that you could use very easily. Mm, I tried 3ds Max and I wanted to switch to that then because, uh, well, it was a lot better at modeling than Maya was in the sense that you had a modifier stack. There's so much power in, in something like that. And it also handled high poly counts way better than anything I'd ever seen. But uh, it kept crashing with basic modifier setups, so I, if I couldn't get those to work, then there was no point. So it was just an unfortunate time, I guess, to try that specific version of 3ds Max. And in an alternate universe, we might be using that. But it didn't happen, so we went back to Maya. And then <laughs> we went to Blender, and I think that's where we're going to stay for the foreseeable future. And I'm happy to say I finally embraced Blender's middle mouse navigation. Of course, I also ended up breaking my middle mouse button because that's usually the cheapest switch in your mouse. <laughs> but thankfully, I was able to buy a soldering kit and learn how to fix it thanks to the YouTubes. But uh, I guess that's just something you have to expect if you want to use Blender. You're either going to end up busting your middle mouse click or your finger. But uh, Regardless, we're here to stay.